ericmothethmother.com. It is for February 20th, 2018. I made a comment of some observation last Friday, today being a Tuesday after yesterday's public holiday. And I was talking about the fact that the S&P 500 has come back to the 50 RSI level. It closed above it during the last trading session. Now, as we start today, we see the market a little bit of a drip down, but we have to be sensitive to the idea that because we have an elevated VIX, a VIX that is trading above the mid-teens, it would not take much for this market to stage a big down day. I'm talking about a percentage point and above down. And so that would be probably something in the range of 250 points low on the Dow, maybe even much, much more. As long as the S&P 500 is dropping below the RSI 50 level, that becomes an option for the market to take. If we take a look at the Dow, the Dow is actually already below 50 for the day, which means that chances of having a big down day into the close generally when you're moving below rsi 50 you tend to drop and you tend to close for a big down day of relative size into the close of the session and we can see the nasdaq actually might be the one that might crystallize this into a big down day because we are trading at about 54. should the nasdaq change direction right now it is positive it's been about 30 minutes since they opened. Once the NASDAQ, if the NASDAQ was to drop below 50 for the day, that would mean a multiple percentage down day into the close. Now that is how you use the RSI 50 to gauge potential downside risk and the magnitude of a potential drop, especially when the VIX is elevated. If we take a look at the S&P 500 hourly, this is what we were talking about late last week, that the market had come back to test this break. In other words, we've already shown resistance on the hourly. And to coincide with the potential down day, I also discussed the idea that the market might stage a big down hour whenever it drops below RSI 50. So something to watch. If it drops below 50 on the hourly time frame, expect there to be a big down hour when that happens. And also, if you take a look at the S&P 500, there is a reason here for those who are bullish to be concerned because the market has a challenging area to clear. You see this line here, which was resistance on this two-year daily chart. The line connecting the lows here, 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 through here. You touch that line, this double bottom. So this line has been holding the market. Now we broke below this a couple weeks ago. And as of right now, we are coming here. We are hitting that line and we are pulling back. In other words, it is becoming a back test resistance level. Now, if I was to zoom into that area, which is the one year daily, the line becomes clearer. So the line pretty much is, should be looking something like that. So right now we are looking at the back test failure. As long as the market is finding it difficult to move above this line, chances are we are now looking at a market that is more and more pointing down potentially potentially to test either the daily closing low or this intraday low this is eric mother with mother.com as always good luck peace and blessings e a c s Mwah. Woo.